destroy Vicky. On a sultry Indian summer afternoon, that's how two beautiful, sexy people in a mansion with a fully stocked wine cellar want to spend the afternoon. Your point? Help me unpack. Come on. I'll model for you all the clothes that I bought with my Havaseed money. As entertaining as that might be, I have a campaign to run for mayor, see? Subtle. Subtle doesn't play. I need you to dig up some fresh dirt on Vicky. And I need the blue room, lunch served at 11 a.m. and again at 2 p.m., and a bottomless slush fund. Done. Now, how do we bring her down? What can we use against her? Me? Duh. Huh? Look, it's very simple. We distract Charlie. We send him out on a wild goose chase one evening. And then we send in yours truly. Meanwhile, you stash a photographer in the bushes while I go to work. You go to work? Yeah, on Vicky. Tantric style. Make her wait for it. Or do you think maybe she'd appreciate more of a traditional approach? Your plan is to have sex with Vicky? Yeah. I mean, we both know she's attracted to me. The camera's... Ow! For crying out loud! Oh! How dare you! How dare you! You would have sex with Vicky on my dime? If it helps get you elected, yes! Oh. If you pay me to do it, that would make you my pimp. And that would be bad for legal reasons. I'm starting to see your point. You're already tarnished by hanging out with that drug-dealing mayor. You probably don't want to mess with racketeering right now. I'm this close to firing you. Note to self, don't sleep with Vicky. Come up with other ways to decimate her at the polls. I've got one. This one takes a little more effort, though. 24-hour surveillance on Vicky. We catch her doing something embarrassing. Not me, of course, something else. Perfect. Really. But we can't start until tomorrow, because today she's going to be at Todd's wedding. And I don't want anything to screw that up. Oh, Blair, not again. Not if I have anything to say about it. Listen. I have got some Kate. things to do now. Can I trust you not to go AWOL and get yourself caught? <sighs> well, how long am I supposed to be cooped up in this place? Not very long. As soon as I get back, then the show starts, all right? And then you can go back to Tahiti. Mm. You try not to, to look forward to that too much. <sighs> Come on, Ross. You don't have any reason to stick around here. Will that do? Depends. What do you want me to do? Romance Blair. I can think of a few reasons. Hello? Hello? This is Thea Delgado, and I have this cabana signed out. I'm on a schedule. So who's ever in there, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to move it on out. Ooh, somebody's in trouble. So Todd's marrying Thea? I thought she was smarter than that. When it comes to Todd, Thea is dumb as a post. You know, Blair must be at DEFCON Red. Shall we bury the guns? No need. Yeah, but I thought... Doesn't Blair hate Taya as much as I hate union dues? It's a bit complicated. Complicated? Taya helped Todd steal Star away from Blair. Then Blair pushed Taya through a window. Not complicated. All of that's over. I've taken care of it. What exactly have you done? Hello, I have to get dressed for my wedding. So if you don't come out right now, I'm gonna call security. Oh, yes. 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 Oh, I didn't miss the wedding, did I? Hey, give me one. Ah! Give me one. Oh, my goodness. Are you ready to watch Dad get married again? Oh, yeah, yeah. you see that? 
<laughs> That's kind of enthusiasm only a brand new playroom full of new toys can buy. Well, you gotta do what you gotta do. Speaking of which, uh, this little kid and that little kid over there took me to the cleaners for showing up to this willy. And what about you? What are your terms for showing up? What do I owe you? So I hear you're gonna be the best man at this shindig. Mm -hmm. It's part of the deal. Mm -hmm. And you understand what being the best man means. Best man. It's not that hard to figure out. You have the, uh, got the rings covered? Got them right here. Uh-huh. And, uh, what about the toast? <laughs> what about it? Well, come on. Toast is, like, the most important part. What's the big deal? I'll tell the waiter to bring us some toast, white or wheat. Oh, yo, see, no, not that kind of toast. This is the kind that you, you know, you make a speech. Wait, what? Nobody said anything about a speech. Come on, you seem like a pretty good talker. I'm sure you'll do fine, huh? No, not if I have no idea what to say, which I don't. Well, you just, you know, you talk about the groom, what kind of guy he is. You tell a funny joke or two. I can't believe this. My dad totally jipped me. And now the toast thing is worth a whole nother car itself. But now I got to come up with the speech, like now? OK, OK, don't worry about it. I tell you what, <clears throat> it just so happens that my son just gave a great speech at our wedding. It was just recently, so why don't we just rip off what he said? Hmm? It is perfectly safe in this house. Free is upstairs with Lois, and Bo has the place surrounded with cops, and Mom and Charlie shouldn't be at the wedding too long. So. Yeah, and you know what? Honestly, I'm a little more concerned about the two of you getting better than I am about someone coming to mess with us. Yeah, hey, if you guys don't rest, then it's back to the hospital. Got it? We're resting. So, about the beer? Oh. <laughs> you know what? I don't really understand how beer is helping you guys get better. It uh, dulls the senses. I'm in a lot of pain mm -hmm. here. All right, fine. Let's go look and see if we can find something fermenting in the bridge. OK. Well, you armed the alarm system, right? Yeah. You're really worried, aren't you? Well, I just want to stay sharp. Yeah, everything's OK. John's on the case. Right? Why, why are you making this about Jared? Jared was the one who got beat up. I'm trying to figure out the motive for whoever it is who had it in for him. No, I don't think so. You think he's a suspect. So, you know how I was dating Layla? Yeah, you told me. Well, we broke up, and it's it's fine. I, I just wanted you to know that it's not going to affect the way that work gets done around here. Good. OK, that's uh, pretty much it. You OK? Yeah. Um, well, there was actually this one other thing, but never mind. <laughs> Fish and oil. I know that people think I'm only about the job. Maybe they're right. But if you ever need to talk, the door's always open. I've always thought of you as a mentor and, and my friend. And man, I thought this would be easier to say by now. I... Just spit it out, Fish. Whatever it is, I probably already know. You know?